Hey everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Life. Whoa, life is frame dropping. In the last episode, oh, right, we gotta, we gotta load a new screen for some reason, because this game can't handle it. Hello, Joyce. I don't know what her thoughts are gonna be. That is such a typical thing. <laughs> Just humming away. This might be the one time these people are right. And is now. Are you still ignoring his warnings? Do you feel the snow? Witness the eclipse? See the dynamo? The signs are upon you. Create bays in the final background of the for Pazuzu? I don't know what that means. Isaiah 66, 15 and 16. For behold, the Lord will come in fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For the Lord will execute judgment by fire. Save your soul today. Repent! We return to the final revelations this month. They get a free dispensation dispensation from hell. Watch us on Acadia Bay Public Access Channel Forty. Contact, yeah. Silly. I avoid. Damn, damn. We've already looked at all these. Can't see me. Looks like a message. Let's play it. David, this is Officer Corn. <laughs> Just Corn. want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified uh. near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? <laughs> message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Consequences. I'm using my powers for evil, but that's okay because it's totally not to kind of come back and bite me in the ass or anything. Who drinks beer this early around here? Good lord, it's me. Spoilers. His life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Independent. Flash snow and free eclipse. Apocalypse soon. Student leaps to public death. Apocalypse. Wow. Open up the window. Expecting to see the sky turn red. Like it does every freaking day. That does happen a lot. Oh, I miss summer now. Look at that he nose. Still eats the same cereal. So <laughs> do I. It's funny. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Hey, there's Kate. Is that Kate? Okay. Oh no, it's Joyce. Duh. They actually do look kind of similar, in my opinion. Love you, mom. Aw. Look at that bald butt! I'm sorry, I don't know why I wanted Joyce to put that out. So <laughs> street clothes. Does she? Good morning, Joyce. She looks very old-fashioned. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. But you fit those clothes well. Thank I wonder if I'll be wearing these for a scene. Like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and... Uh, I, really, I really like pancakes. I really, really like bacon. I don't really like eggs, though, which is a weird thing. Make some pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. Can you make some pancakes, making bacon stories. pancakes? Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved you. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab the from a stack. <laughs> so Aww. this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Making pancakes. No problem. Making bacon pancakes. Get yeah, some bacon and I put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes. So oh, grape drink? Out. That looks delicious. I love grape drink. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Wait, what else do I need? Milk, right? Where's milk? Oh, it's right here. Why is the milk here for? Now for the mother's milk. Yeah. Lactation and stuff. Ingredients. Thanks. That'll be five dollars. After all these years and everything that's happened. It's great to see you and Chloe together again. Best she friends hasn't had forever. A good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. Hmm. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping yeah. that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe I from mean, Hollywood. We're obviously going to eventually figure out what happened to her. Better or for worse. Mm. Yeah, let's Is there see. any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. <laughs> Reminded me of you and Chloe. 
But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield. Are you actually just <laughs> Rachel? Well, how easy she is, so. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Oh, wow. Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And mm. that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, I'm worried David's gonna set a table and be like, Hey, I recognize something. Like she has like a, I don't know, a piece of chlorine in her hair. Okay, no. <laughs> I wonder if there's like any Easter eggs. Like if I went upstairs right now and went into, uh, I'll just say Rachel, Chloe's room. There would be like, you know, any crazy Easter eggs. I don't know. Look at that plant. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I water my plant way too much. <gasps> Where's Thank the maple so syrup? Much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> that's awesome. Let's look at it. No, look at that's it. That's what I call pancake. Look at it. That's a very fast pancake making ability. Nom 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 nom. Oh, dust. Gross. It is almost 10 a.m. Holy crap. Well, it's not like 9.30. Look at that ant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, that was very quick. Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Yeah, I agree. Screw freaking... Wait, can I not look at my pancakes anymore? I'm scared, man. Can I... I can't do anything. Kate's life oh. was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Made me remember so much. Yeah, I just I know figured that was some bad as lap. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. <laughs> I'm the coolest. I'm the coolioist. Is that right or something? I don't know. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture oh, with his instant say. camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. say, who dat? He Aww. had his car out right after this. And, and did, did, do we know how he died? Car crash? I would take it by talking choice. about the car. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. Hmm. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Aww. Chloe! Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> it's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in Jesus my Jesus Christ, Chloe, chill out! No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Yourself. Else does. Jesus Christ. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. Uh, what are our options here? Just the laptop. Let's take a look, see if there's anything else laying a boot. No, nope. just, just appears. It appears to be just a laptop. He's gonna walk up here and be like, "What are you doing, Max Caulfield? Max of the Caulfield David clan?" Has all of his surveillance secrets in this laptop. Oh boy, we're gonna have to guess a password. Who should it needs a password? How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. 
the beer. The cupboard. It's gonna have me type out a password because I'm not good at this crap. Nothing to see here. Corn beef! <laughs> of course it's corn beef! How could we be so stupid? Is it Joyce? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Happy sweet 18. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. Hmm. What does that mean? There's new options, maybe? I forget. Yeah, I think that means there's new options. I can you searching just in case. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. Uh -huh. I can't even see the combination. <laughs> it might be a useful password. <gasps> 7171. I doubt it can't be as simple as Joyce. Zzz. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she still. Oh, yeah, the one with the option I had Frank Steele take the gun from us. Security! I could try the license number for the password. It's not a bad idea either. But it's not gonna require me to remember all this. I am not gonna remember all this. <laughs> Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home a veteran's guide. What did he learn? Dear! That's his. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Very proud of himself. 2001, dear. I got it. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Nah, that's weird. That'd be weird. Or the license plate. Dude, can't picture David driving Joyce Honk around with just this married. on the car. <laughs> that's pretty lame. Are we going here? I still need to find okay, a password say. to David's computer. Alright, alright. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Yeah. Sun visor. Search it. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentleman still exists. Love to talk to you again. I'd love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. Aw. It might be a useful password. That one could very well be an eggs and sausage. She still charged him? Wow! How dare she? Alright, see what we got. I'm gonna say it might be personal family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's... Oh, I don't remember. I guess that would be this date. Worst Dang hacker it. ever. Alright, let's keep trying. Single shot award? Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. LOL. Fine then. Freaking gosh dang it. <clears throat> Max <Mouse laughs> eight ball says no. Seventy one no seventy one. Oh, that's definitely you totally froze the laptop. Yeah, 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 I know. Totally a lot of freaking characters. Is a rewind rebound far enough I could uh just the one makes me wonder if I'm try again missing stuff here. I just go through everything. Hey! Max the hacker. I don't know what that date was for, but cool, I did Whoa. it. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. I knew it. But why does David care? Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel me to once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report. Case number 678. Reporting officer Anderson Barry. Said report Rachel Amber. 18 was picked up at 2.35 p.m. Blackwell Academy for possession of controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide a secure uh, or secure suspicious medical bay. The officer uh, was question was calling the question Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was Found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Cool, cool. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KM follows the same path to, to everyday class. Overheard Kate and Dana W talking about supplies for ver 
Vortex Club Party drums. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate sees the bathroom longer than other students' drugs. Saw Kate uh, helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with cozies. <laughs> Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party. Not even church drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. Huh. This is so wrong. Oh my god. Ugh, creepy bastard. Uh, Max Caulfield profile. Ma Max online. Uh, Alices. Mad Max. Max Factor. Noir Angel. Wow, that is creepy. How does he know the Noir Angel one? Or Actually, how does he know any of these? Mad Max kind of makes sense because people call me that. I don't think I've heard anyone calling Max Factory. Maybe I did. I just forgot. I don't know. Max and Caulfield. Doing blah, 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 blah. Max class schedule. October week two. School schedule. 2013. Oh, so it's actually 2013, not 2012. Like I previously suspected. Suspected. I better tell Chloe about this uh, now. How do I? It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. How do I lock the computer? Whoa. Spoiler alert. How do I lock Rachel the computer? Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Oh, I know. Let's leave the computer unlocked like Why a dumbass. Care? Let's browse this bad boy and get some answers. God dang it. That's so stupid. Oh, that was a bad idea. Mama could have been standing there. Hello, Joyce. Hello. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. Apparently not. It's <coughs> breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Wow. Do you know for sure hey, man. The black whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Really something? <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? What a you know dick. more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always hmm. starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. She used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Side with Chloe! Of course, can't. You're I mean. a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect what? your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these What's files up? at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. Uh, David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. Oh, your home. My home. Get out of here. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. Like, he probably has weird good intentions for some I hope weird reason. Hate me for tearing into David. Well, no, she clearly doesn't, because you know, exposing him and stuff. Well, that was interesting. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <clears throat> If you would like to suggest a game for me to play, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video that is meant exactly for that. Uh, let's read the journal. Oh no, there's a lot of pages in here. Oh, 
Chloe and I just had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls and why they're in trouble. Why they're in trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about her. Oh, she already read that. We already read that. She has me. So be I take pictures. She takes action. Piece of action. We had seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh! How quiet could we be in a swimming pool? Blah, 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 blah. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to sneak past, especially the way we had to bail on Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. Even though my body smelled like I had been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's. By the way, I probably should have showered. Can he not smell the chlorine on me? Sure, we changed clothes, but still on our skin. Chloe's room for the first time. Oh, so it was nice crashing Chloe's room for the first time in five years. <clears throat> and wake up next to her like our old sleepovers. For some reason, it reminded me of the time we were going to TP one of the neighbor's houses. We even stuck up, but <laughs> got chicken and ran back home laughing all the way. I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was uh, making her delish breakfast downstairs. And Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least in Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, damn it! <laughs> uh, after academic espionage last night, I felt the same way. It's just now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since mine were trashed. A brand tea, a band tea and ripped jeans. So not me, but I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her, so I did. She probably thought I'd wuss out. Why? It wasn't a big deal, though it was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed after she said she after she and, she, bleh, and said she would tell Warren Besides, I think Chloe sees Amber, uh, Rachel Amber in her future. Uh, when I went downstairs to breakfast, Joyce actually called me Rachel, which was which just seems so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my new outfit is working its magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast just like when I was a kid in a sleepover. It's odd how quickly you could fall back in the old routine. <gasps> I think I just figured this game out. I think I actually am Rachel somehow. And then I got transported back in time. Like, Rachel was future me. And then I got transported back in time. And now I'm here. Is that crazy? Actually, that probably doesn't make sense. Because we don't... I mean, maybe we look kind of similar. But we don't look that similar. Okay, I'm taking that back. That's kind of stupid, actually. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> ignore my stupid guesses. So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia mode. Since she busted out ye old ye photo album. I'm one of the few people... Who loves checking out old pictures? I love checking out old pictures, actually. What was that Alfred Hitchcock line about film being pieces of time, like Mr. Jefferson said? So are photographs. I do think she wanted me to see her uh, new husband in a better light when David was happy or laughing with Joyce in a picture. I wanted to say, and who is that? Plus, I'm sure it is no accident that there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. Wow. She must. She truly is stunning and somehow looked more punk rock than Chloe. Wow. The truly heartbreaking image was the last photo of William Price ever took. Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't catch that. That's what was going on. It's kind of to tell. The photos are very low detail in this game. Or at least some of them. Joyce really misses that joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything we had as children and lost adults. Whatever being an adult means. Oh, that's really sad. Fight! Otter and shark. <laughs> Which is a perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start shit with Joyce. This gave me a cruel cover so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madsen's extreme files. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.